and shine. It's your morning marijuana motivation time. I'm your host with the most is Mark Saint, and I'm not with my cell phone that usually goes live on all the channels, so I gotta do the morning marijuana motivation on my other phone. Can't leave it alone. I've uh, tried to get the app people to get with it, but they lost their customer service. And as I rise and shine this morning, I thought about it, and I was like, let me have this conversation on this phone. Let me just record the thoughts so you can get some of this diamonds up in my head, right? So, turns out, your attitude's gonna fuck up your prosperity, and here's why. Let's get some shine. It's morning marijuana motivation time. Usually I use the intro, but we're just gonna top right in it. It's very simple. Um, people don't wanna deal with your mood. And that's me included. When I uh, melting down, I lost my business. I had 50 grand on the line. Uh, it's my dream. Everything was melting. I, and, and the girl of my dreams was there and I was being rude to her. And she said, nobody's going to put up with your shit. And she was like, no one has to. And it dawned upon me that no matter what happened in my life, it wasn't affecting anyone else. And I say that on the Chinese story all the time is how like I was throwing a fit and wishing I would quit or... Uh, I basically gave up on myself and what had happened was I was starting to trigger the next chaos, right? I was starting to, check that out, man, that's so dope. I was starting to become my next problem. And the worst thing about it is, especially for winners and people that want success, like let's get success in the, in the, in the sun, right? For people that want success, right? It's like you wouldn't want to be in your own way, dude. I'm trying to explain to you right now. If anybody that's working really hard at something, the last thing you want to do is self-sabotage yourself or upset the people around you. That was the thought too, was like, when people are complaining, right? They go into their head, I'm gonna show you the view too. They go into their head and they are outside of themselves looking for the validation. Like, am I right? But am I right? And it's like, only your ego will try to defend itself being right. You might only have to say it once if you're truly right because facts are facts and nobody can deny the truth, right? But people can live in denial and forget the real truth. And that's what we're talking about here. People that are literally going in their heads going like, but am I right? But am I right? And I'm like, do you have to be right? Can you choose peace? I talked about it yesterday. You know, it's so much more peaceful than having to put up with someone's ego or, and that's real work, by the way, y'all. That's real work right there. Um, you don't see them arguing right now. You know what I'm saying? You don't see them infighting, getting frustrated because it's only gonna make the load heavier. And that's something I wanna not shoot for you not to have to do is lift a heavier load because your ass is in a bad mood. And then what's worse is you're gonna make it worse on everyone else. That's the worst part is when somebody solicits, my misery doesn't need company, right? I want to end it as quickly as possible so no one else has to suffer. If you're of that attitude, then you're a saint too. That's what Saint's brand's all about, ending suffering. That's what Saint's giving's all about, giving to those that need it because we've been given so much. When you have abundance of energy, when you have abundance of positivity, it does nothing, it doesn't hurt you at all to, to give that to someone. A smile's contagious, but so is hate. So is a complaint. And when people go and complain, you go like, bro, what the fuck is your problem? Why are you um, trying to bring down everybody else's mood? Trying to bring down everybody else's pr productivity? Why are you trying to put that kind of vibe out into the world? And that's the real question. It's like that vibe, you know what I'm saying? That vibe, I don't want to be hit, but I want you guys to see the view. Laser. That vibe is what it's all about. Because if you're vibing, now you're hella productive. You know what I'm saying? They're just doing this new club here. I wanted you guys to see it. Everybody's staring at it already. Thing's gonna be bomb. Opening on New Year's. Cafe Jerry, Jerry Kakwara. What's up with your boy? But yeah, next thing you know, your attitude's so funky that you've debilitated yourself. Now all of a sudden your productivity's dropped to zero. Nobody wants to be around you. And check that out, bro. Check that out. These guys are fucking killing it, bro. Super killing it. Nobody arguing, everybody working together. That's when you know your vibe's right. That's when you know you're gonna be most productive. Um, you can't crack the whip on a dead horse. You can't force a donkey to carry more of your load. And that's the kind of asinine shit that they'll be asked for. Oh, this is my favorite view of the day. This is the highlight of my day, y'all. Walking through here, walking through the, like the Spanish flowers. It looks like I'm in Spain over here. I mean, I feel like a conquistador is gonna come out of this bitch at any time. The tile, the orange, 
the flowers going over. My friend's company over here, the tattoos, the little acai bike. Come on now. There's so many cool things, but this makes my life happy. When all the other people are trying to take away the shine with their complaining and misunderstanding and frustration, they're literally giving up the ability to hear that bird chirp. They're literally giving up the chance to sign under a tree with flowers. They're literally giving up their happiness instead of letting it exist. And today you get a very, very blessed view because today's the, the, the surf competition. This is my favorite part of the day, y'all. I get to walk up and see this view and be close to this kind of calm and know that waves will come and waves will go. But it's the way you swim that will determine your survivability. It's the way you take on waves. It's the way you take on drama. It's the way you take on your thoughts. If all you can do is share your negativity. Ooh, look at your boy with the six-pack abs. Yup. And uh, men's workout tanks. And then are you really going to let somebody else steal your vibe? That's the real thing. We call it steel shining because people be trying to steal the shine. Taking away your halo. All this construction going on, y'all. All this construction going on. But it's the view that I keep my head on. Instead of letting somebody steal my attitude and steal my mood and make me funky, I smile on the inside. I remember that this too shall pass. Oh yeah, these flowers are coming in nice over here too. Check out Club, Club Maria's real quick. My homie, Vila Maria. I watched them build this building, it's super cool. Here's a new one coming right here. And this was old Damundu. And now look at it. Surf competitions on, boys and girls. If you've never seen one, you get to see it live here in Jerry Coquata, Ceará, Brazil. It's an area, Ceará is the C E A R A. Ceará is the air view. But look at all these fins. Look at all these competitors. Check this out, y'all. Holy shit. If this ain't a fucking surf competition, I don't know what else is. Let me go get in this. Let me show you the view. Look at this. Weed. Weed here. Peacocks. This is a real surf competition. This is really going down. Collections in here. Look at these boards, all brand new. Little baby boards. Look at all the competitors. I mean, sponsors. Official sponsors. All in here. What a view. So, welcome to the beach, y'all. Welcome to the plastic beach. Uh, no, dude, honestly, there, no, uh, there's not a lot of plastic here, but people got to pick up after themselves. That's the point. But most importantly is the quality of life that you're living. You, we want beaches over bitches, right? Over here at Saints Anarchy, we want beaches over bitches. We don't want you bitching. We want you on a beach. We want you traveling, like travel by Saints. We want you giving back to people with your good mood and giving back to people because you got so, so much. That's the level I want people on. I don't want them fucking complaining no more, believing in shortage, being rude, being in a bad mood. It's not worth it. It's not worth your time under this blessed sun. Woo! Look at him go. Ay, 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 ay. Look at him, bro. The man, the myth, the legend. He's the man. Got you, bro. Beleza. That's the man, dude. He owns the surf shop. Look, he's got girls. If that's not a great fucking live, I don't know what else is, y'all. So I love my life. I love everything about it. I love all the competitors. I love the competition. I love the views. Look at the excitement, y'all. That's what winning feels like. Do you want to feel like that? Then stop complaining. If you want to come here, then start working. Like there it is. You. So it's your boy Marky Saint. Life for Club Eventos. I'm always on my show. Surfboard, surf competition. It's a blessed life. I love my life! And I want you to love yours too. So while everybody else is trying to figure it out, I'm going to get in on this. And you guys can get on it too. I'll see you on the other side. Follow me at Saints Addiction. Check out Club Eventos. And I'll see you later. Ciao, Bella.